Welcome to the Penn Energy Petroleum News Update. I'm Courtney Ferguson. In this week's update, Shell makes plans for summer Arctic drilling, the industry pushes back against crude by rail rules, and Oklahoma environmentalists take on injection wells. Those stories and more, starting right now. Royal Dutch Shell's Arctic drilling program has cleared a major bureaucratic hurdle to begin drilling for oil and gas off Alaska's northwestern coast this summer. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management approved the multi-year exploration plan in the Chukchi Sea for Shell after reviewing thousands of comments from the public, Alaska Native organizations, and state and federal agencies. Shell must still obtain other permits from state and federal agencies, including one to drill from the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. The company must also obtain government opinions that find Shell can comply with the terms and conditions of the Endangered Species Act. Low prices for oil and natural gas have dampened the enthusiasm of petroleum companies to lease public land in Wyoming for oil and gas drilling. A recent federal oil and gas lease sale in Cheyenne netted the least amount of revenue of any sale since the aftermath of the Great Recession in 2009. Last week's Bureau of Land Management Drilling Rights auction brought in just $688,000. The last time a BLM lease sale in Wyoming brought in that little was in August of 2009. Lease sales in recent years have netted millions and sometimes tens of millions of dollars. The federal government splits the revenue with Wyoming. The U.S. oil industry has filed a court challenge to new rules aimed at reducing the risk of accidents involving crude moved by rail. The American Petroleum Institute's petition to the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Washington, D.C. would set aside a requirement for improvements to railroad tank cars that are known to fail during accidents. An API spokesman said the politically influential trade group supports better tank cars, but companies need more time to get them on the tracks. The Department of Transportation rules unveiled May 1st call for an estimated 43,000 cars that primarily haul crude to be phased out or retrofitted by 2020. Similar improvements to cars primarily carrying ethanol must be completed by 2023. A coalition of Oklahoma environmental and grassroots organizations is calling for a moratorium on the use of wastewater disposal wells by the oil and natural gas industry in areas where they may trigger earthquakes. Members of the coalition traveled to the state capitol to deliver 1,500 signed petitions to Governor Mary Fallon's office, seeking a moratorium on the use of high-volume, high-pressure disposal wells in 16 Oklahoma counties. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, which regulates the oil and natural gas industry, said directives it has issued have resulted in significant changes in the operation of wastewater disposal wells with potential to trigger earthquakes. We have more than 50,000 jobs online and waiting for you right now at PennEnergyJobs.com. Whether you're looking for a job or have positions to list, we can help. And as always, for the latest news from across the energy industry, visit PennEnergy.com.